This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Let's get right into your top local stories. Hundreds of thousands of fast food workers across California are getting a big boost in their paychecks. Starting today, they will make a minimum of $20 an hour. The change adds up to another $4 an hour, and that money has, come, has to come from somewhere, of course. Jack in the Box is one of the many fast food chains that's planning to raise menu prices. University of San Diego economics professor Dr. Alan Jin says it will likely have a ripple effect on all wages. It's still a tight labor market. Companies are having difficulty finding employees. And so if, if fast food is paying $20 an hour, uh, other restaurants are probably going to have to uh, at least match that in order to retain their employees. And then people outside the restaurant industry will probably have to uh, up their wages. The pay increase takes effect immediately and is just a starting point. The law also creates a fast food council that has the power to increase wages each year through the year 2029. Hundreds of migrants were released at San Diego trolley stations this weekend. Despite the wet weather, immigration advocates were stationed at the uh, Iris Avenue transit station this weekend to assist the nearly 200 newly arriving migrants. The volunteers provided the asylum seekers with basic needs as they waited for family or friends. It's been also nice to see the community that comes and donates jackets or is able to, for example, the last couple of days we had people donate pizzas and food to keep people warm. And so I, it's really nice to see that, um, that solidarity within the community, but it's really sad that it has to come to this to depend on, on that when our city could be doing so much more. In February, Border Patrol agents apprehended just over 140,000 migrants. That was a 13% increase from January. Overall, though, border apprehensions are down as February's total was the seventh lowest in the last three years. San Diego's roads have taken a beating from all the recent rain, including this weekend storm. Today, storm damage is still causing some headaches for people in Bankers Hill. Take a look. This is what it looked like Saturday on First Avenue off Nutmeg and Maple. Construction crews were out this weekend trying to fix the hole there in the road, but neighbors say they're fed up with wet weather and what it's done to the streets over the past few months. It's not been good. It's, it's caused construction problems. It's caused pedestrian problems. It's caused a lot of things that, you know, if you live in this neighborhood, it's it's not great. I want them to fix kind of more of the foundation of things, you know, including what could have caused this. There is no word yet from city officials on just how long it will take to make the repairs there on First Avenue. Meanwhile, we have a clearer picture of the bad shape San Diego streets are in. A recent audit found it will cost almost $2 billion to make repairs over the next decade. The problem is the city only has identified $645 million. And so to fix the funding gap, Mayor Todd Gloria wants to raise the sales tax from 7.75% to 8.75%. This latest round of rain brought frustration for communities still recovering from January's historic flooding. Some neighbors say they're fed up with the city's lack of response. For two months, Greg Montoya says he's sent several reports to the city's Get It Done app, asking them to clear up trash from nearby storm drains. Greg's own house was damaged during the flooding. Since then, he says he's had to clear out a drain on Beta Street himself since the city has ignored his requests. Montoya says it's not fair that he has to do their job. It's a constant problem and the city is well aware of it and they continue to ignore it. All I'm doing is trying to get stuff done, doing, doing the stuff the city should be doing. We reached out to the city for a response on Greg's concerns. So far, we have not heard back. Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen joins us now with a look at our forecast as we head into the work week. Hi, Sheena. Hey, Monica, as we head through the afternoon, it's actually going to look a lot better than it did this week, and we're going to be drier. And in the mid-60s, for the coast and inland valleys, any clouds will be gradually clearing up, except for the mountains. The mountains could see a slight chance of a shower this afternoon. That's really the only part of the county, though. Deserts will be pretty dry in the 70s. So for the next couple days, we're looking pretty good, and we're actually going to warm up by Wednesday, mid-70s inland. Thursday and Friday, though, our next storm approaches. It's going to be a cold storm again, so by Friday, we're going to have a chance for rain, chilly temperatures. I'll show you the 10 day forecast coming up. More than half a dozen businesses now linked to a single measles case in the North County where you could have been exposed coming up. 
NBC7 and Telemundo 20 responds, getting answers and results. A local grandmother tricked into wiring almost $150,000 foolish. We showed you the scam and reached out to her bank for answers. I thought I was doing the right thing. Now she's recovering every dollar she thought was lost. They said, you have your money back. And I was just overwhelmed. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 responds. I'm so happy thank to you, thank you. Getting answers and results for you. Coverage you count on. This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Welcome back. A Carlsbad police officer is in the hospital after police say someone hit him in the head with a skateboard. Police say a rock hit the front windshield while the officer was driving down Carlsbad Village Drive under the I-5 freeway late Friday night. He pulled over to inspect the damage with a supervisor and that's when police say a suspect ran up behind him and hit him in the head with a skateboard. The injured officer fired at the suspect who was running away. The suspect was not hit and he was arrested by other officers who arrived at the scene. Police did not say what the motive was for the attack. County health officials have confirmed a second case of measles this year. County Health and Human Services says a 47 year old who had recently traveled overseas may have exposed others at a number of locations in Encinitas and Carlsbad last week. We have those locations on your screen. Measles is a contagious disease that develops 7 to 21 days after exposure. People with symptoms are asked to call their doctor's office. A number of government services will not be available today in San Diego County in observance of Cesar Chavez Day, which was celebrated yesterday, but observed today. San Diego City administrative offices are closed today. City libraries, rec centers, and public buildings in Balboa Park are also closed. Parking meters will not be enforced today. Curbside trash services are still running as normal. It's a serious split for the Padres opening home stand after their offense comes alive against the Giants. Fly ball to right field, back towards the wall, and gone! There you have it, two early Hard home runs. Deep left field, down the line, will it stay fair? Yes, it will! Three-run home run! And it is jolted to right. Matos back, going to be over his head and off the wall. All right, two early home runs from Luis Capu Capusano and Hassan Kim helped the Friars secure nine runs in just the first two innings. In the third, Xander Bogarts piled on with a double that drew in two more runs. The Giants managed to put a few on the board before the game's end, but it wasn't nearly enough. Padres won this one. 13 to 4. They are back at it again tonight at Petco Park hosting the St. Louis Cardinals for a three game series. First pitch is at 6:40 p.m. NBC7 meteorologist Sina Parveen will have a look at your weather forecast right after this. NBC7 and Telemundo 20's Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen bringing you the first alert of a tornado warning. If you're just tuning in, this is a tornado warning. This is for this area that you're seeing on the map. Constantly updating you. If you're in this area, make sure you seek shelter, interior hallway or closet. And staying with you until the potential for danger passed. We no longer have the tornado warning that was for East County. Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen and the first alert weather team. Coverage you count on. Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. For today, along the coast and the inland valleys, we're going to be cool, but also just about mostly sunny skies, mid-60s. For the mountains, though, we could still see a slight chance of a shower, just about part of the cloudy in the deserts. We have a warming trend through Wednesday. Wednesday will be the warmest and dry. Thursday, our next storm approaches. It'll get cooler. Friday, we have rain in the forecast. It's going to be pretty chilly with that next storm system so far, though. Looks like we should be drying up for the weekend and mountains by Friday looking like snow showers with that colder storm. Thank you. Well, maybe the fourth time is the charm. Tonight, SpaceX is trying another launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base here in California. Remember this, if the skies are clear, you might be able to catch good look at it. Photos like these were taken two weeks ago. It is yet the latest delay since Thursday because of the unfavorable weather. SpaceX says the rocket and its Starlink satellite payload are good to go for tonight's launch at 730, weather permitting. Speaking of space, what about a deal for a trip to the moon? For April Fool's, Groupon is selling a one-way ticket to the moon for just under $100,000. The VIP ticket is for a flight with Spacey, and promises a once in a lifetime eternity vacation package. Eternity, right? Of course, it's all April Fool's, so don't get too excited. More coverage account on NBC7.com. Thanks for watching.